factorize for three marks. So with factorizing, we always like to start by looking at a common factor. Then if that doesn't work, we could go down to dif difference of squares or trinomials or grouping. Now, I don't see any common factor over here. But what I can see is that these two are almost the same, but they're not exactly the same. If it was a plus, listen carefully, this is very important. If it was a plus, then these two are actually exactly the same. Why? Because when you plus numbers together, the order doesn't matter. Both of these give us eight, for example. But if I say three, take away five, and five, take away three, this one gives us two, this one gives us negative two. So when you minus, the order actually makes a big difference. So these two are not the same, but we can make them the same by doing a little trick. What we do is we change the sign. So whatever it is, you change it. So if it was a plus, you make it a minus, and then you just change this one. So notice that the A was negative, now I've made the A positive, and the B was a positive. You see there's a, there's a positive there. Now it's a negative, okay? Mathematically, that is allowed. Now, the reason we did that is because now we have these two being exactly the same. So now it's taking out a common factor. So the common factor is the A minus B, okay? Now, in the first part, we still have a 4x left over, so we say 4x. In the second part, we have a minus 3, and that's our answer. We can't go any further. There's nothing more you could do, and so that's it.